You are worthy and you have value. That value does not cease to be infinite regardless of how much of it you perceive to have. Now we all create our own reality and we create our own experiences through our thoughts. Most of it, it is done unconsciously and it is because we, we have the influence of other people in our lives and other things within our environment that may encourage us to create something that we may not want unconsciously. So if you feel that you don't have any worth or any value you or not or not as much as others around you or you feel like you're not deserving of things you know it may yes it may be because people in your life are telling you you know you're stupid you don't deserve this you'll never make this you'll never accomplish this or you know things within your environment of you know a low you know a empty bank account or having no money or just having you know lost something or you know your car broke down or things you know bad getting bad grades these other things in your life in your environment that are also speaking to you saying you have no worth you have no value it is just an influence into how you're creating that life and that value but it still does not reflect accurately the infinite value that you have you are a divine being your value is immense and it will imminently be so forever it's just how much you perceive that so don't let other people determine how you see yourself you have the value you have the worth and you have the power to create and change your perspective the paradigm of your thinking as my as my brother says you know you have to shift that paradigm into a new phase of thinking you know like a kaleidoscope just one small shift changes the entire visual uh, spectrum that you're perceiving so you can make just one small shift to change that whole entire perception of your own self-value and self-worth. And when you do that, you will begin to notice how other things are beginning to manifest into your life that are different than what was previously coming up. You know, you're beginning to have more value. You get a little bonus on your check, or you get a promotion, or you get a new job, or you start getting better grades, or, you know, that toxic friend just kind of somehow fades out of your life and you meet a new friend to kind of supplement that time in your life so as you begin to make the small subtle shifts required to shift that paradigm in your thinking and to shift that perspective on how you see your life then you will begin to see these things play out in your life the universal law of manifestation universal law of believing and knowing the more you believe it then the more you will see it you know you have to believe it to see it not see it to believe it you know if you wait for that then it'll never change you have to believe it to see it so if you want something different then you have to be different and a lot of it comes down to your personal beliefs, you know, the, the beliefs that you have upon yourself. A belief is just a thought you continue to think. It isn't necessarily true or not true. But if you believe it strongly enough, then it is true for you. And these beliefs have been formed based upon your environment and the people in your life and the people around you and your parents and, and brothers and sisters and cousins as you were growing up and your teachers and things. You know, they help to influence these beliefs that you have about yourself, about your life, about creation and the universe and life. And if there is a belief, you know, and you need to examine these beliefs that you have about yourself and determine whether one, whether it's true or not, two, whether it's beneficial or not. If it is beneficial, then hold to it and continue to believe it and if reinforce that belief. If it is not beneficial to you, then it needs to be eradicated and changed. And so if a belief is just a thought that you continue to think, then you need to think a new thought. So identify the core thought at the, at the foundation of that belief and then reflect the opposite of it. And then begin to tell yourself that thought, I am worthy, I am valuable, I am worthy, I am valuable. And continue to think that thought until you begin to manifest and experience things producing that. So that you begin to experience more value and more worth in your life. And you begin to feel it. You know, feel what that feels like. You know, if you need to imagine yourself being someone else for a moment to help cultivate that feeling, then do so. Because the feeling is very key. Because when you begin to feel that, then that's when you really begin to shift into that alternate reality and, and make that shift and move like a kaleidoscope shifting and changing and creating an entire new pattern an entire new spectrum of life and then things will begin to shift in your life so always remember you have tremendous value and you are immensely worthy of everything you desire and everything you want to become but don't take my word for it you can't take my word for it 
you have to believe it and you have to believe it so much so that you begin to experience it and then you know that it's true within your life so i challenge you to go forward and create more value and more worth within your life and as always i leave you in peace